This video was sponsored by Don Cheadle. Use offer code GABETYJ when subscribing to get the first six months free. Fanboy and Chum Chum has been a work of television that has long fascinated and perplexed its audience. Its use of subtle allegory and nuanced metaphors gives it a quality that is seldom seen today amongst shows of a similar budget. There is one theme, however, that is prominently explored in every episode, as it is the main subject of the show, and that is the field of thought known as existentialism. Banboy and Chum Chum constantly grapples with humanity's existence and their constant search for meaning. It is hugely influenced by philosophers such as Sartre, Kierkegaard, and Hector Jimenez. The most prominent way in which this topic is explored is through the show's theme song, a master composition showing both a deep knowledge of musical theory as well as lyrical poetry which rivals that of Walt Whitman and Andrew Morin. The track was written and composed by the show's co-producer, Luigi Del Morte, who attended the Royal Academy of Music in London. Del Morte was largely inspired by the works of Bertolt Brecht, a playwright who would on occasion express his political and philosophical ideologies through song in order to better reach the audience. Del Morte mirrored this approach when writing Fanboy and Chum Chum's introduction number. The piece begins by expressing the supposed insanity of both protagonists. The meaning behind this stems from the fact that Fanboy and Chum Chum are depicted to be what Albert Camus terms the absurdist hero, an individual who sees the meaningless of existence and rather than being disheartened by it, instead finds comfort in this lack of meaning, seeing it as a means of establishing their freedom. Camus feels that an individual would have to be seen by society as totally crazy to embrace the absurdity of being creatures who constantly search for meaning in a meaningless world. This contrast of the search for meaning and the lack thereof is also mirrored in the song's lyrics, we're gonna cry and have some fun. Furthermore, stated by the duo is the fact that they don't care if you stare, I mean look at their underwear. This links back to Soren Kierkegaard's ideas regarding what he dubbed as authenticity, a term urging us to be true to ourselves and create our own meaning in life, to combat the lack of a presupposed meaning. Reflected by the way, Fanboy and Chum Chum urge the viewers to look at a garment which would usually be worn behind their clothes, but is instead on the outside, both denying societal stereotypes, but also showing the world their true selves. An episode in particular I would like to focus on in this video is the second episode, titled Pick a Nose. In this episode, Fanboy and his captor, Chum Chum, exchange their noses. It is easy to see that this represents the fluidity and instability of individual identities. This act also allows for comic relief, creating the Brechtian device known as sparse, in which, through the use of comedy, Ooh, corn. the audience will be lulled into a position of comfort and positivity, where they will be more susceptible to being taught a didactic lesson. This episode's exploration of absurdism was so pertinent that it was actually referenced in the play Waiting for Godot, written by Samuel Beckett, an acclaimed absurdist playwright. Further into the episode, the characters, with their exchanged noses, begin to intentionally seek out unpleasant odours, and the noses are almost destroyed in the process, displaying the fact that the fragility of our identities can lead to our downfall and a lack of what Kierkegaard describes as authenticity and fall into something philosopher Heidegger terms as das Nicht. But any analysis of Eric Robel's artwork would be incomplete without the mention of the titular character Lenny Flynn Boyle, who represents the antithesis to the roles of fanboy and chum chum, or what Albert Camus labels the absurd man. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, who sponsored this video, once said, My field is my time, and this can perfectly sum up the character of Lenny. He, like Goethe, is aware of his mortality, that his life is finite, and that his time is not endless, and he inhabits this, searching for meaning in his work. He is constantly striving to improve his occupational situation at the Frosty Mart, oblivious to the fact that this will grant him no true happiness. For this reason, he is characterized by his hopelessness and depressing outlook on life. 
Contrasted by this, we see Fanboy and Chum Chum, overcome with ecstasy, finding happiness and freedom in the realized meaningless of their existences. It's easy to see that Fanboy and Chum Chum, while almost hopelessly complex when looking at it at a face value, is the best depiction of contemporary existentialism and absurdism, trumping works that of Heidegger, Dostoevsky, and Andrew Ray. This masterpiece will go down in history as Fanboy and Chum Chum, and we as a society should be overjoyed by knowing that we have the capability to learn from what it has to teach us. Here we go.